Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, January 16th, 2024. Hope you all had a good three-day weekend. For those that, well, I guess three-day weekend from trading for sure. And we've got markets in the red to start today. Dow is down 129, NASDAQ futures down 60, S&P futures down 16, and the VIX is up a little under 5%. So, let's see what, what today brings after a three-day break. Good morning, Chris. I've been working on um, my zero DTE presentation to kind of chart out my process of trading the zero DTE iron condors. Planning on uh, taking today and and um, you know getting some real life examples so I can paste them into the presentation. Hopefully, here in the next couple of days, I'll after I get some good examples. Samples today are good examples today that I'll be able to get that up and going by the end of the week. <clears throat> morning, Lasosa. Morning, MRP. So I can I can do uh, be doing the mighty ninety and runners here the first thirty minutes, and then I can maybe switch over to. Still do those, but monitor when I'm going to enter my iron condor. Yeah, I thought about a Rick today, with the markets being where they were at. Bell is wrong. Morning, Deox. Morning, Disco. See what kind of trading volume we get here. First day back from MLK Day. Had some good Zoom calls with some people over the weekend. They're looking at doing more zero DTE trading. And everyone I've spoken to is really committing to paper trading to Help out with learning the process, which is good to hear. Usually at, you know, on a Monday, which this isn't a Monday, but it's a Monday in terms of trading. Not always my favorite days to do the Mighty 90 Runners, but might be a little careful on my entries today. You don't always know what's going to happen there. In the... You've had a holiday. Going to have earnings season going to be kicking off pretty soon, so going to have to be aware of all that. Next week will be a real big week for a lot of big companies. We day trade. Tesla pushing down. Amazon, Meta pushing up, NVIDIA, Netflix. It's a little two-way action going on here.
So with uh, markets pushing down, we'll have to see if we get continued downward movement throughout the day or if it'll bounce. Went to the doctor Friday, got some antibiotics and a steroid to help shake the head cold that I've got that has affected my voice. And so slowly coming back, thank goodness. So some NASDAQ stocks here coming down. Some are pushing up. Overall, the NASDAQ's trying to come up a little bit. Dow futures tried to push up and got pushed back down at about well, like the same place they got knocked down at about 740 Central today. Actually, they've been rejected twice up there at that pivot. You can see here, Dow futures got pushed down here, came up, pushed down, came back up, pushed back down. All right, so we're getting our second bar here. We'll look for some, see what kind of volume we get here with some volume runners. If you're new, make sure you watch the volume runners course. And the continuation runner and the mighty 90. That's the three main ones I trade here at this time. VIX up uh, almost 9% now. Oh, I'll take that back. Under five. What was I looking at? Must be looking at something else. Yeah, four and a half percent VIX is up. Uh, I've seen it before. It's number five, the Mighty 90 strategy. Meta, big reversal. Right, blockchain has come down. Man, it was up to like $19. And since that old ETF Bitcoin thing, it's really come down a lot. Snapchat getting a potential downside volume runner for people that want a smaller stock to trade.
S and P down eighteen. Dow down one sixty nine. Nasdaq down fifty. Not really seeing anything that would look promising here. Yeah, so like I said, Snap has gotten there for like. Smaller stocks. Tesla really been struggling lately, down another two and three quarters percent. And today, trading the three days to expiration option chain, three DTE. So nothing, nothing shaking yet. Yeah, Meta, big reversal in Meta there. <clears throat> S&P coming down, down 24 now. So it doesn't really look like we're going to get any. We'll look for, look for some mighty 90s now. So we're looking for this third bar to be bigger than the previous one. As long as it's not bigger than the first one and in the same directions. Coin base coming down too, kind of getting hit just like it's been taking a hit, kind of like uh riot. So, yeah, I mean, this, I'm kind of treating this like a Monday with the holiday yesterday. It's not, like I said, my favorite day to trade. Kind of get some, sometimes some things don't always go as planned. So 
So Meta getting weak. Tesla popping, trying to pop back up here. Let's see if it can gain any traction. I don't know. The Dow down 234 now, so it's really fallen. Yeah, I mean, that's why I was thinking maybe Tesla downside runner here, but, man, it's holding on even in this big push down, so. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign for old Mr. Tesla. NVIDIA is kind of holding on as well. Not really seeing any mighty 90s. Uh, MU's getting a bar. Now that looks like it might be a mighty 90, but it's close. It's getting close to being as big as the first. That's the only problem with that one. Snap with another big bar. So I think I'll just be patient here. Yeah, I'm going to stay away from MU. The bar is just too big. You can G. Staying strong. But you can kind of see when you get the stair stepping down in volume, it just doesn't, it's not, that's not giving you any mighty 90s or runners. So Roku pushing through lows of day. NVIDIA, man, it's holding on like it wants to go higher, but. I sure want to get long right now in this weak market. This early out of the gates, anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even consider that a mighty ninety Boeing. Snap is bouncing a little bit. At least trying to. Yeah, Tesla rolling back over. Thought that might happen. Look at a daily chart at Tesla. It's been it's been rough for. Of course, you know Tesla will bounce back at some point. It's just when won't happen. But you can kind of see since these last these last week to ten days, it's just been on a pretty sizable pullback. Apple through lows of day. Netflix through lows of day. NVIDIA, though, still holding on, man. It's take a look at a daily chart of NVIDIA. Man, it's up to highs. Yep, AMD staying staying strong. Yeah, 
And the Dow's still falling, though. I mean, but NVIDIA trying to pop back up. Still just no good mighty 90s as of right now or runners. Wow, Coinbase flipped. Tesla has flipped. NVIDIA trying to go through highs of day. Meta, though, I mean, it's staying weak. Microsoft staying weak. Apple staying weak. Yeah, sometimes that happens on Mondays. Again, this isn't a Monday, but it kind of like a Monday for the markets, I guess. And the Dow's down 254, NASDAQ futures still falling. But we've got NVIDIA and now Tesla. Well, Tesla's still in the red. But I don't know. I don't know if NVIDIA can crack highs of day or not. But you can just see the volume here on this first page of mine. It's just, you know, Microsoft, Netflix. Amazon, Apple, you just, I mean, this is what it is. It's just not giving you any good signals in terms of volume runners or mighty 90s. So pretty soon here, the continuation runner will be in, in play. Are we going to get continued down movement anywhere? Because most everything's moving down. Except Tesla. <clears throat> Tesla might be on a heater up today. Tesla through, through highs of day. I'd like to get a mighty 90 short here in Tesla, but it's not getting one in with the volume. Roku tight range. Coinbase and Riot trying to, cryptos trying to rally. So, so S&P futures, you can kind of see, is just pretty much been on a push, push downward here. It's starting to try to get a little bit of a bounce, but. Oh, Tesla just shot up. So not sure what's going on now with Tesla, but
Pretty massive move out of Tesla right now. Elon must have did something, right? Still just nothing, though. I mean, maybe NVIDIA side continuation here. NASDAQ has tried to pop up a little bit. I'm just not, not convinced quite yet. Meta almost maybe looks like potential downside continuation. So, yeah, you know, I'm getting kind of mixed signals here, you know, like Tesla's pushed up and video looks like it wants to go higher. Meta, Microsoft, maybe looks like it wants to go lower. So, I mean, when I get stuff like this happening, I kind of get a little conservative. Wow. Tesla's on a burner. Tesla's trying to get back everything it's lost here in one day. I'm going to go ahead and get short meta, I think, here. It's just really struggling. Yeah, Tesla's volume just straight across. I'll go 370 puts in... Um, Meta. Build at four oh five. Four zero five. So you could probably get a better fill than I did. So I would close half at 445. Let's put that in, in case I'm not watching. AMD staying strong. Yeah, I don't know if it is or not. No, I was playing it as a downside continuation runner, but now it's pushing against me. Wow, Tesla, unreal. It's the biggest push I've seen in Tesla in a while. Really no pullback either. I mean, these last few bars here. So meta, I mean, if it gets above here, I'm, I'm considering adding to it here.
Wow, Tesla. So this is kind of what you get on after a three day, you know, you might get pushes in each direction. I wondered about this. So I'm going to add to my meta here. Same strike. Go to 335 to add to meta. So if it goes much above here, well, if it gets through that pivot, I will definitely, definitely close it. You see, Apple looks like it wants to stay weak. I'm just not convinced we're going to continue to go up here. But again, that's why I'm only in one trade at the moment. So meta, I would close half at, let's see, and the last one was at 335. Let's just go ahead and close half at four bucks. I know that's much more than 10%, but. Still not much with volume bars. Uh, yes, Ken. I'll go in medium and then I'll... Then it kind of depends on how big the current position is, but for that one, yeah, I just doubled it. Because... Just depends with a price stock like that. If I'm in a stock that's priced like a buck twenty or something, you know, it might be different. Now Tesla has went from one of the weaker stocks now to getting close to one of the stronger ones. NVIDIA, man, it's it's struggled a little bit here. Well, and you thought we were gonna keep your keep a red day here in terms of getting some volatility back for zero DTE. It's kind of shaping up to be VIX coming back down. Let me see here. What's the VIX currently at? I guess the VIX is, yeah, it came up and now it's coming all the way back down. That's the must be pulling the whole market, man. This is amazing. I have not seen this out of Tesla in a long time. It'll be interesting to see if it can hold that. I imagine it's going to pull back at some point, but it's not giving me any. It's not giving me a long setup. It's not giving me a short setup.
I wonder if it's going to run out of steam pretty soon. So Meta trying to come back down for us. I just don't know what else is strong is keeping the market from coming down. I guess DKNG, it's not a very big stock. AMD staying strong. Still just really kind of disappointing day on the terms of uh, not really seeing any volume in terms of mighty 90s or runners. So built at four bucks to close half my meta. There you go. So definitely a good ad there. So I would close another meta at 440. So let's take a look. Okay, so you for you zero DTE traders. Let's take a look here. So it's after nine central. So we've had a push down and a pretty good bounce. So I'm looking for things to maybe stabilize here before I put in my first AM iron condor. Tesla still going up. Oh my gosh. Should have bought some calls. <laughs> so futures are coming back up. Pretty decent bounce here. No, zero, zero uh, Zero signals in Tesla. That's why it makes me wonder, like, what's going on? Maybe it's just because it's been down for the last 10 days. It's getting an initial bounce. I mean, I'm guessing at some point today it's going to pull back, though. Meta trying to go through lows. VIX coming down, though. So I'm going to be looking at my first... Iron Condor here. We'll look at the 4780s. See what kind of price I can get there. Oops. Got filled at 440 in Meta. To close a quarter. So at least that one's working. The one I am in. So looking at the 47 A's and the 4740 puts. 50, 50 points wide. We'll see what kind of premium that gives me. Five thirty-five. Not not the uh, greatest premium, but it is wider. So let me take a peek at the anal analysis tab here before I do anything. Sometimes my analysis tab is not portioned right. Now NVIDIA is busting out. 
So it looks like we're going stronger, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it just a second in terms of my zero DTE. So I would put, a, I'm going to see if I can get filled on another order in uh, Meta. I'm going to put a working order in it. 480. It's kind of hard to do to lead the live stream with the mighty 90 runners and then still try to do your zero DTE stuff. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait on my zero DTE for right now. AMD broke out. Yeah, I guess maybe I should have taken a long there in NVIDIA. Yeah, I was considering it. So Roku's kind of got a mighty 90 short here. If you can get one more push, I might go and look and get short Roku here on the 87 puts. Try to get filled at 225 here. Let's go 220. No Phil and Roku yet. Trying to get Phil at 225 now. I'll just leave it there. Come on, Roku. Don't you come down yet. There we go. Filled at 225 in Roku on a mighty 90. That was the 87 put. So for Roku, I will. Oh, wait, was that a partial fill? That was a partial fill. I only got three filled in Roku. Well, that stinks. So did not get a full fill in Roku. I mean, I got part of my co contracts filled. Okay, futures, big push down, big push up. So I'm glad I'm not in a, that's my two pushes I'm kind of looking for.
That's oh, a bummer on Roku. Meta trying to push back up a little bit too. Watch it. That's a real bummer about uh, my Roku here. Fact that I didn't get filled on all my contracts. So I only got filled on three, so. I'll put in an order to close one of my contracts at 250. Just got filled on the rest of them. So I will now close half of my Roku at 250. All right, so let's go back to zero DTE, see what it looks like. Okay, it looks like things have tightened up a little bit, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to go 4780 calls, 4750 puts based on price, 50. Oops. Seven fifty puts based on price close to three bucks there. Premium potentially sitting around six fifty. Man, I need to restart or something because everything is so slow with my analyze tab. Okay, so Roku's pushing up. So Yeah, my wow. Oh. Thinker swims wonky. Okay, so I'm just going to hold Roku still. Help tab, collect garbage. I will try anything at this point. Because it's gotten so slow that I can't even put a trade in for the iron condor. Collect garbage. Where is collect garbage? Tab, collect garbage. Upper right, setup. Okay.
under the Systems tab. I don't know. I have to try and do three things at once here. It's the problem. I'm trying to do mighty nineties and runners and zero DT and get my get my tinker swim going quicker. So probably gonna have to cut one of my tasks here. So um let's see, I'm in meta. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off here to get some of this stuff worked out and get my zero DT stuff put in. Um, because I, I want to use today with my trades to help build the course. And I'm not doing that right now, trying to get all this other stuff figured out, trying to just multitasking too much. Um, so I got two trades in meta. So if meta gets up above this key level here, I'll close it. Uh, otherwise I'll let it scale out in Roku. If it, I'm just waiting for two red bars consecutive and I'll close it. So, all right. Uh, I'm going to be live power hour. So I'll see you this afternoon. Talk to you later.